are two very important points to the video that you're about to watch regarding the trestle. One is that it would cost more to tear it down than it would to repair it. So we uh, decided to get together and try to come up with some catchphrases for you uh, to make that point, and here are the top 10. 10, less expensive to restore than raise. Nine, cost more to destroy than to employ. Not bad. Eight, cheaper to mend than rescind. Seven, cheaper to correct than reject. <laughs> Six, cheaper to repeat than delete. Five, cheaper to employ than destroy. Four, cheaper to renew than to say adieu. I like that one. Three, cheaper to renovate than obliterate. And two, cheaper to keep than to bleep. And finally, number one, drum roll please, cheaper to fix than nix. The Petaluma River Promenade Organization was created to help draw attention to river-related groups, like those appearing here under this umbrella, so that more public attention will be given to turning around our neglected downtown Petaluma River Turning Basin. With the Mayor's Pledge to Dredge program now financed and scheduled, this video will focus on saving the trestle, highlighting two very important points. One. It will cost less to repair than to tear it down, as some observers have suggested. And two, even though the foundation is still strong enough to support a full-on freight train, the finished renovation would only be targeted for pedestrian use today. So the first thing you want to do is watch this video created by the Save the Trestle team, and then we'll hear from one of their leaders. Long ago, Petaluma established itself as a major commercial shipping hub for the North Bay area. By the 1920s, the Petaluma Trestle and Spur Track was built along the River Turning Basin by the Petaluma and Santa Rosa Railway, which helped to make transporting goods easier. However, in the intervening years, as Petaluma transformed, the trestle was no longer used as a shipping point but served a different purpose, as a community gathering place for various river-based festivals and events. Now, after many years of neglect, the trestle has fallen into a state of dilapidation and disrepair, and is no longer safe for pedestrian use along the river. Beginning in 2013, a groundswell of support has begun to save the trestle. An engineering study funded in part by the City and California Coastal Conservancy concluded that rebuilding the trestle as a pedestrian use area, like it once was, indeed is a viable project for our community. A design concept has been presented that will restore the structure and decking platform for safe pedestrian access. Transforming the trestle is a key element to completing the river park in the heart of Petaluma's downtown historic district. Its open space is sure to complement surrounding businesses and be a draw for tourists. The project will also include an educational component. Petaluma residents can, once again, enjoy biking and walking along our riverfront and participate in other community-based activities along their river. Please join us. And is that there are many misconceptions about the trestle and one of them is about the load. We happen to have video of two 80-ton diesels and a 40-ton hopper, uh, 80, 280 tons, going across this trestle in approximately the same condition it is right now. But with these pilings being spliced and sleeved, then it will hold as much as it did before. But we're not asking it to hold that amount of weight. We're only asking to hold one-tenth that amount of weight, which happens to be the weight of a pedestrian's walking on the trestle. We have the proof that it can hold it and demonstrations about how and why. The bottom line as it relates to the Petaluma River Promenade Organization and the river-related groups appearing here under this umbrella is that more public attention will be given to turning around our downtown Petaluma Turning Basin. So special thanks to Christopher Stevick for the interview and watch for more news about this important project as it develops. Don't you just love this town?